Did you know that Kitty Pride phases through walls? She could totally pop her face through the walls. Or you're going number two. Hi, I'm Pop Man. It's good to see you guys again. I am so happy that you all have made it here for yet another clip of silliness and craziness. I should mention that when I say it's good to see you, I really can't actually see you. I mean, that would be kind of creepy. It's super creepy. I hope you guys are staying in and keeping yourselves safe. So today, I am going to draw one of my most favorite characters of all time. I mean, I'm super serious this time. My most favorite, favorite, favorite superhero of all time. The mother of all dragons. Kitty Pride. <laughs> Got him! So this commission is very, very special. Not too long ago, I put up an auction on Twitter. And you can follow my Twitter. Here. Or there. Or just, just be sure to follow my Twitter if you can. <laughs> the auction is for the hashtag creators for comics. It's a worthwhile charity to help struggling comic book shops. It was a total pleasure for me to be able to help out any which way I can. And I know that my one art piece may not help that much, but it's every little bit helps. So if you have a local comic shop near you and you wanted to help out, you can see if, if they would deliver, which I don't think they do. I'm not, not sure on that one. Or you can also help by just ordering comics to pay to be picked up curbside. So you might not be able to help the whole industry, but you can definitely help your local comic shops. I hope you do. Please. It would be great. And I'm sure that your local comic shops would thank you very much as well. So enough talk. Let's go draw some kitty pride. Watch out, my butt! In previous videos that I've done, I've lost the beginning parts or certain sections of the video. I always thought it was not a big deal because uh, it seems like the pencil parts were probably a little boring anyways, maybe. I tried to truncate the videos as much as I can. Maybe you guys can leave me a comment below to let me know what you guys think. You know, do you want to see more? Do you want to see less? You know, more truncated, less truncated, that would be good. As you probably saw, I do a very quick gestural sketch. From there, I just go straight to the inks. I've learned this method over the years and I think it works out pretty well for me. When you do a sketch on the tan paper, I feel like it has a sense of, of sophistication and elegance. And I think it's perfect for this uh, Shadow Cat sketch here. I kind of knew going into it what paper um, I would be selecting for this particular sketch. Uh, as well as you know the materials I, was, I would be using. What I wasn't so clear on was whether I was going to do color or just leave it as uh, gray tones. As a generality, I have one main lighting that I resort to as my go-to lighting and I use that for pretty much most of the page work that I do in comics. You know, you learn that lighting front, forwards and backwards and it's like ingrained into your soul. For me, it's the overhead light. I, you know, I've learned that one pretty well and I've used it for a long time. Um, I can extrapolate shadows from that lighting relatively easy. It's almost second nature by now. And I decided to go with something a little bit different for this one. I wanted the lighting to be a bit softer um, and the tan paper, it forces you to, to think outside of your comfort zone. And you know, that's really good for you to grow as an artist. So if you guys wonder why it is that I'm talking like Max Headroom, 
at, uh, in these videos, kind of doing like the I, 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 hey, how are you, 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 you doing? Um, it's mainly because uh, there's a lot of heavy editing in the videos. I do apologize for it, but the way I speak is really annoying to most people. And I've, I learned that uh, over the years, obviously, but mainly I've noticed it more and more when I do these videos. Or maybe it's, that's just me annoying the heck out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Probably more that than anything else. But also, I tend to go on crazy tangents and then never get back to what, what it was that I'm talking about. I can edit the things that I talk about when I'm writing an email or something or, you know, writing a story. I can go back and edit it. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. You know, I'm editing a lot of what I say um, because I tend to ramble. <laughs> I'll go off on tangents and sometimes I won't make it back. I'm also embracing it, you know. I used to really hate the way I talk and, and because I hated the way I spoke, I, I would shy away from actually doing the YouTube videos because I actually had planned to do YouTube videos for a long time now. Maybe, you know, a good couple of years now that I've been interested in doing these instructional videos and it's required that I, you know, actually sound halfway intelligent and not like a babbling buffoon when I speak <laughs> but you know the truth is that I am a babbling buffoon so <laughs> there is that this commission is very cool um, I really enjoyed it a lot and it's it's one of those rare commissions where I thought it looked better in black and white and gray tones than I do with the colors but I definitely think that I could have pulled back on some of it like you know it was actually strong enough as it was without um, all the extra effects and the power effects and stuff like that. You know, I, I really want to make it worth the money that the, that the person paid for it. And we know that that's never <laughs> the correct thing to do. You know what I mean? Adding extra work doesn't necessarily translate into a better product. It's just, you have to know when to hold them. Like Kenny Rogers, be like Kenny Rogers. You gotta know when to hold them and you gotta know when you got to walk away. I totally butchered that line. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard the song. Anyways, so yeah, definitely you got you have to be able to know when to just, you know, say when. I hope you guys tune in for the long form version of this video. Um I, I kind of truncated this this particular drawing a lot, um, just because so that I keep the, the video itself under about ten minutes. I found that the the ten minute mark seems like it's a pretty good format for now. If you guys could leave me a comment and let me know whether you're digging the, the less than 10 minute uh, format or if you want it more, that would be great. I've included a long form version of the, the video that will go up a day or two after this one goes up so that people can see everything's included or as much as I can. It will be drawing at maybe two or three, four times the speed, um, but not as, you know, not crazy fast. Um, just so that you can kind of see the details and everything. I mean, it's going to be long and, you know, for for people who enjoy just the art and less of the, you know, and uh, less of the silliness and, and all that. So, um, but yeah, do give me a, uh, leave me a comment and let me know if that's something that, you know, are more, more interested in or if you enjoy the, the, the shorter format. I try to make both formats kind of interesting, um, but, you know, I hope you'll let me know what I can do to make it better. Thanks. Appreciate it. So welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that clip and you guys enjoyed watching me make a fool out of myself yet again for your viewing pleasure. Please like, share, and subscribe. So leave a comment below and tell me about your local comic shop. Have you gone there? Are they pretty awesome? Do they treat you good? I hope they treat you well. So leave me a comment. I would love to get to know you better. Uh, we can talk further at length. You can, you know, shoot me a quick little tweet. Tell me how much you know, how much I annoy you, how much I, you annoy me. <laughs> Wait, you never annoy me. Never in a million years. Promise. Cross my heart. Please take care. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.